Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg from Logic Pro Expert, and we're going to look at UAD's Oxide Tape in this video, and we're going to test it out and see a couple of different ways of using it. Now, it's great for adding a warm and punchy tape-like quality to the low mid-range, and I find it also adds a nice sweet bit of upper mid boost depending on how we have these EQ settings adjusted. But it's also great for adding a harmonic tape saturation effect by slightly overdriving the signal. We drive the input and we can monitor with the VU and drive it into the red and then compensate with the output so that we're not getting a volume offset, but just getting a bit of the harmonic saturation. So let's look at the controls and we'll test it out. We can choose between seven and a half inches per second or 15. And the main difference is that they have a slightly different frequency bump and slightly different distortion characteristic in the low end. We have two different EQ curves, and the NAB is the American style, and CCIR is the European style EQ curve. We have noise reduction, which we can turn on or off. And here's where the real tone shaping comes in with the input control, how much we want to drive it into saturation, and then compensating with the output. And then there's two different monitoring paths. When we have it set to input, it's providing the sound of the machine electronics only without any of the magnetic tape. And the repro mode adds in the effect of the playback of the recorded tape signal. And we can bypass it on and off, of course. So I'm going to show it to you here on the different elements in this mix, and then we'll explore testing it out. So here it is on piano. I have it set so it's just triggering a bit into the red. So nothing too dramatic there. Here it is on the bass part. I'm really pulling back the input because it's a hot signal. So that's tightening it up nicely. Here it is on the drums. Here I'm using the NAB style EQ. Again, just triggering a slight bit of saturation. And here it is without the repro mode. Well, that's a bit of brightness. Here's a hand clap. Flood. Here we go, let's just cycle around here. So again, that glue that just gives it a bit of extra tightness to it. Comes out again after the flood. Again, here NAB come EQ. the rainbow after the flood. Here come the rainbow. It's in the good input book. mode. That's how that we know after the flood. Come the rainbow. Seems a bit more lively with the full tape emulation. And here again, I'm driving it to slight saturation. Storm come in and, and the storm back. don't pass. A lightning and a flash and a thunder crash. Here's the whole arrangement with all of these on, and then we'll bypass them. And here the effect of turning these all on and off. And there shouldn't be a huge volume difference since none of them are on their own are really adding any significant change to the level. After the hurricane, after the rain. Reptile brain, you'll swear nothing's gonna be the same until the sun comes out again. After the flood, here come the rainbow. After the flood, here come the rainbow. It's in the good book. That's how that we. So it adds a nice kind of sonic glue to the whole mix. Now, another way to use it is to not use it on the individual tracks. I'm gonna bypass them here and just have it on the master output. And I've got this set up, it's been bypassed. But I'm going from here into an SSL compression and then the BX hybrid just to get a bit of the mono summing at the bottom and a bit of the stereo width. So let's look at this instance here on the master bus. And again, I'll bypass it on and off as it's playing, starting with it off. After the hurricane, after the rain, back in the back of your reptile brain, you'll swear nothing's gonna be the same until the sun comes out again after the flood here come the rainbow after the flood here come the rain so two different ways of using oxide tape that both have their merits check out the link to the logic pro expert article below if you want to hear my final thoughts on which way i prefer and why this is eli kranzberg for logic pro expert signing out